Yo, what's up? So if there's one thing I love about fighting games is when there are crossover characters. I love when there's characters that are not within the franchise and they just put the most ridiculous thing inside these games. Mortal Kombat is known for it. Plenty of other games are known for it. I mean, we had Samurai Showdown just have the Warden. And of course, Tekken has many collaboration characters like Geese and even Final Fantasy characters, Noctis and stuff. I, I love when we get it. It's been a thing in games since a long time, of course, Soul Calibur 2 is one of the biggest ones that like really do it when it comes to fighting games for like the first time and stuff like that. But I mean, this is one that I never actually saw coming. And today I want to take a look at the new Power Rangers Battle for the Grid trailer. Now, this is not a game that I actually play, but just the fact that there's a Street Fighter collab happening, I have to see what this trailer is about and see exactly how it's going. I've seen one of the designs, but I just have to see the whole trailer and see it animated and stuff like that because it sounds absolutely ridiculous let's check it out all right here we go oh what the, is that bro it's morphin time is that <laughs> come on Ryu sans morphin time oh he got the giant ass gloves on too who the tatsu deal the otgs bro ryu the gold ranger Ooh, this song remix is kind of nice though. Yo, that anti air was so high. Bro, I don't know much about this game, but the jugglers look pretty interesting. Okay. Yo, he is jumping. Yo, he got combos off throws. I'm guessing that is a thing in this game. Bro, the OTGs. EX showed you. Oh my god. My man got the power. <laughs> he got the power, bro. Come on. Yo, this is sick. Oh, no, not Zed. Yo, Ryu can't be Zed up like this, bro. Yo, look at the OTG. The OTGs in this game just look really fun. There's a lot of bouncing in this game. A lot of juggles. Oh, my God. That is ridiculous, man. You ready for this? Sean Lee. Chun Li too, man. That's ridiculous. Oh, I want to see how she. Oh man, no trailer for her though. So yeah, both of the characters look great, man. Like I said, I'm a big fan of collabs, and this is nothing out of the ordinary. What I would expect from like a proper collab and stuff like this. Now this actually comes out, I believe, May 25th for both of them. Outside from the designs perspective, I think I like the Chun Li design a little bit more. Uh, this like Gold Ranger Ryu. It looks it looks a bit silly. I'm not gonna lie, but I think her armor. I could definitely see that being a thing. You know, this guy got come out with the karate belt. This big, these big ass gloves with his headband and stuff. Um, it just don't seem like, I don't know, like a ranger aesthetic. Is it, they're definitely trying to mix the two. You could definitely tell. But the uh, something about the Chung Lee one just seems so like right. It looked like it actually fits. But as far as them fitting inside the game, actually, you know, they actually fit pretty well. I like the moves and stuff. Like I said, I never played this game actually before, but the fact that they actually were able to put the characters inside of this game system and make it work also is very nice. Also, one thing to note when it comes to collab characters and stuff like this, um, they typically follow their own rules in certain aspects too. So they try to ground them within the game, but they also have their own unique things that are outside of the game. That's the best thing about collab characters. They typically bring mechanics and stuff that you wouldn't normally see in the game they sort of break the game and sort of like that now this collab isn't actually new because in power rangers legacy wars there were actually a capcom collab already with street fighter characters with street fighter 5 in particular as you can see here um there was actually a collab and this is like the mobile version fighting game or whatnot so they actually had some type of collab already there but they decided to make it to the big you know their actual uh console fighting game to try to do it there too this one seemed like they just actually be putting the Street Fighter characters in here, but now they're getting their own Power Ranger look, so they took it one step above, which is pretty cool. I actually didn't know about this until I read an uh, article in IGN. I will put both the links in the description to the article um, from IGN for this one and the other one, because apparently this is something exclusive. This announcement is like exclusive with IGN, so they have all the information. So I will be putting the links for the sources so you guys could check this out as well as far as more information about this collab the character pack will actually be about 1250 usd and if you want to buy the character separately it's 599 while with the 1250 pack i believe they said it's going to be exclusive costumes for the characters that's going to be announced at a later date as well so there's gonna be some extra costumes that you probably won't get if you buy the characters separately so if this is something you're planning to pick up definitely consider 
picking up the actual pack rather than the characters individually if you want those extra costumes there was also some more information about this as far as the actual collaboration work apparently um ono who was of course the person behind street fighter 5 at that time knew um the people that were working on this game or the power ranger um creator and he got them basically involved with this project and he was already a big fan of power rangers and that pretty much gave the green light for this thing to happen capcom worked with the team to actually make the actual designs for the ranger costumes and that's how this pretty much came to light so this is definitely a real collaboration with capcom having some say so as far as the designs and actual aspects of like the play style and stuff like that so very cool that this actually came to light and uh yeah i just really wanted to do a reaction this year just because once again collabs are a beautiful thing within fighting games and i think this is something that we should all you know just enjoy it they're all fun it's fun in games when you have like collaborations with character stuff i know some people don't like them but i love when guest characters get us out of games it's it's typically like i don't know the most hypest thing for it for me um especially i think one of the ones that i know a lot of people are a big fan of was the 2b one inside of soul caliber that was like a real chef kiss to me um but yeah i just want to um react to this and uh let me know what you guys think do you think um collabs like this should keep going do you uh think this collab pretty cool which design do you think the best let me know down in the description below and uh, uh comments below and i'll see you guys in the next one